Hey, what's up? I'm Unknown Shadow. That's Albert. This is Colorado. And today... What the hell? Well... We're gonna talk about something a little different. Like many people these days, I have, you know, standard smartphones. Yes, it is an iPhone, sorry. A couple of weeks ago, I had noticed the camera was having issues. It was just sitting there hunting a lot, vibrating a lot. You could actually hear an audible sound from the actual camera itself. We're in the middle of a pandemic. All the Apple stores are closed. You know, swap the phone. Get a new phone, basically the same phone. About four days after the new phone, take the phone out, go to take another picture. This phone's doing the exact same thing. Fuck, what do I do? I'm trying to figure out what was going on. Am I the only one? Is this a software problem? Is this something else? What the hell? Then I stumbled across a Reddit thread that happened to mention a couple of key interesting observations. Looking through the thread, somebody happened to mention, hey, do you happen to ride a motorcycle? <laughs> I do that. But thinking back on the history of like the issue that I've been having, it just so happened that the first time that this popped up on the first phone was right after I got the A-Racer. I've made a few videos since then, one after swapping phones, and there just happened to be that common theme that now with the A-Racer, I happen to be mounting my phone on this, uh, on this RAM mount a lot more often than I used to. I used to actually mount uh, this camera on this mount instead, so the camera was here, and I just kept the phone in my pocket because I wasn't really using it for anything. But now with the A-Racer, because I want the output, I've been mounting it here. I think that might be my problem. I've been using these RAM mounts literally for years. I mean, I don't know if this is the same one that I've had mounted on my other motorcycle for, you know, <laughs> quite a few years or not, or if I bought a new one. But basically, they're the exact same standard, you know, phone RAM mount that you can buy with the little uh, kind of condom or whatever it is to strap it down, keep it safe. Um, I use the same in my Jeep. And I've never had problems until I mounted it on this, which looks really nice because basically mount it directly onto the headstock, uh, clamp your handlebars, and puts it in a nice really and it puts it in a really nice spot. But it also puts it in a very dangerous location that is susceptible to vibration because it's basically directly connected to the headstock here. So that got me thinking. I wonder if I can test this. Right now this phone is, I mean, <laughs> it's messed up. There isn't much worse I can do to this phone. I downloaded an app. I'll put the app, the, the link of the app in the in the description, but I just downloaded any kind of app that, that uses the internal accelerometer of the iPhone, but will record the vibrations felt by the phone. First step that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna record a little bit of this ride, just standard up and down this road. With the, with the mount here, see what that looks like. Then I'm gonna move the, I'm gonna swap these two mounts and move the phone up here and mount it onto the handlebar if I can. I, ha I might, hopefully I should be able to. What that'll do is that I'll be able to compare what it look, what the vibration looks like mounted on this man in the box mount here versus just out on the handlebars themselves. And then I'm actually gonna also mount this phone onto my scrambler and probably on my Jeep and try to get some, some vibration readouts on those just to compare and see how everything compares to each other. We'll see what we find out at the end of this, um, what we can do, but that's what we're gonna do. So real quick, I'm gonna stop, get things configured, I'll get the vibration meter going, and then we'll kind of continue this little experiment. Before we do anything, I thought, hey, why not take some video? If I swap it to this, you can actually see it stabilizes. But then if I move back to the 1X lens, it'll just sit there and haunt, hunt. It's an interesting effect. A little annoying though. I got the vibration meter running. Now it's just mounted on here. This is just kind of running through. I've got the screen recording so that we actually have that information. And I'll try to post it up on the side here. But uh, this is this is just a quick ride. Probably go up here a little bit, just on this nice little straightaway. Be a little pop. 
potholes here and there, but for the most part, it's not a horrible road compared to kind of normal around here. So now I swap the two mounts, phone up up here on the on the actual handlebars themselves, camera down here, and now just kind of want to see what vibrations the phone sees. The other interesting thing about this mount is this is actually the vibration that you feel on your hands. So yeah, I'm back out here now with about 1100 more cc's than before. It's the exact same base ram mount. Um, just happens to be on a much bigger bike. It's kind of funny, I mean, with the Honda Monkey, I've been trying to do everything I can to improve its top speed, and then I get onto the Scrambler, and the Scrambler's just like, it's not even trying. Uh, it's a sickness, I guess. One thing that I do notice with this bike, there's a lot more micro vibrations in the in the handlebars. I mean, this hand, I've been riding around on the monkey quite a bit. And this hand is our, like, <laughs> I've barely been on the bike a little, like, maybe, what, 12 minutes. And uh, this hand already feels fatigued. So that's kind of interesting. So yeah, now we're back up on the same stretch of road that we were on the two bikes, uh, this time in the Jeep, um, same app. Now it's mounted onto like the same ram mount that I've used on both motorcycles, exact same type of ram mount, same extension. Now it just happens to be mounted onto, the, onto this uh, bar that I have in the Jeep. This is the spot right about here. So this is the part that I've been measuring and we'll keep an eye on the and the overall vibration of the of the phone. I think this has mostly been a day of increasingly comfortable rides. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back, I'm going to take all the, the various data that I collected, all the different uh, phone recordings effectively, um, try to match them all back up to each other, uh, to, to some of the, the, the road itself, try to find the same areas within the road, um, and just kind of take a look at them. things that I did notice on initial glance is that uh, the readouts from the handlebar mount on the monkey were definitely the worst. It was all over the place. Um, it doesn't help that I actually had it like pretty high mounted, but I think just in general there was so much movement that it, it just really wasn't that. It, it, it wasn't a fantastic place for that. The thing that I'm most concerned about is the man in the box uh, mount versus you know, like on the Scrambler or here in the Jeep. On the on the Monkey, you could actually see pretty large jumps um, on the graph. And, and whereas on the Scrambler, you didn't really see those as much. You know, it, it, there's a big difference between the, the travel of the suspension, the overall build of the bikes. Um, I'm gonna guess it's the same as the Jeep. There's a heck of a lot more suspension here in the Jeep. That really just you know the the monkey is just hitting bumps harder it's not surprising but it is and just mounting the 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 phone to the actual monkey itself I just don't think it's safe uh, there's a object image stabilization that's in kind of newer phones just some of these newer fancier cameras every time they upgrade the camera they're adding more to it and really you know that that little OIS portion of the camera it, it's it's very sensitive to vibrations, the bounce, the, all of these, they 
it's a moving part and it seems that that whatever part of vibration or whatever's going on is causing that to, to knock loose or just go bad in some way. I don't know exactly what yet. I didn't really know whether or not it was going to be the man of the box mount or just the monkey in general or everything and I've just been lucky. I've had phones mounted in my Jeep for years now. Um, in fact, this mount right here, I use it near daily depending on how often I go outside and my phone always goes into it and I've never had a problem. It's only been when I've started mounting the, the, the phone on the monkey itself, that's when I saw the camera go bad. You know, seeing even just the, the vibration, like the actual movement um, on the, the handlebar specific mount, um, I just don't think I can mount a, a phone back on the monkey and feel safe about it. You know, I'm not sure about other suspension setups. I don't know if like you change the preload. I know there's like some different um, Olin's shocks that you can do in the front suspension. I don't know if that would change some of this, help damp uh, some of the, the vibration that's up there, especially over some of the bigger potholes. Uh, you know, I have a stock suspension still, so it's hard to say what'll happen if you were to change any of that up. But I do know that right now on my stock suspension, um, it's just not safe for, for a phone to be mounted anywhere on the, the handlebar set. Um, just leaving it in my pocket seems to, to keep my phones alive. So I'll be doing that from now on. But yeah, with that, I'll call this a video. It was fun kind of moving between three vehicles in a day. Um, very interesting kind of <laughs> remembering how to drive each one of them. It's, it's been kind of an eye opener seeing just how much vibration goes on in the various mounts. Uh, if anybody has some ideas for better mounts for a phone, maybe there's something a little more shock, shock absorbing that I could be doing for the monkey. Um, you know, leave some comments down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Uh, but you know, for now, I highly just don't recommend mounting a phone onto the handlebar anywhere on the monkey, at least not on a stock setup. With that, hopefully you found some of this interesting. Uh, you know, like, subscribe, comment, do those things if you like to do those things. Um, hopefully you're having a good day, but thanks for watching. Bye.